Picture this, it's a cozy evening, and you find yourself nestled on your favorite spot on the couch. The television flickers to life, and the opening credits of the 1975 TV series One Day at a Time start to roll. As that familiar melody fills the room, you're transported back in time, to an era when life seemed simpler, yet every episode was a journey through the joys and challenges of the beloved Romano family. Perhaps you remember the laughter that bubbled up when Schneider, the quirky superintendent, made his unforgettable entrance. Or maybe it was the heartwarming moments shared by Anne Romano and her two strong-willed daughters that left an indelible mark on your heart. One Day at a Time was more than just a TV show. It was a mirror reflecting the essence of everyday life, with its ups and downs, triumphs, and tribulations. It invited us to laugh, to cry, and to grow alongside the characters we came to adore. Now, as we journey through some fascinating random facts about this iconic show, let's rekindle those memories and celebrate the timeless charm of one day at a time. Get ready to dive into the past and rediscover the magic that once graced our screens. In 1975, the television landscape welcomed the sitcom One Day at a Time, a series that would go on to captivate audiences for nearly a decade. While the show is primarily remembered for its portrayal of a single mother, Anne Romano, played by Bonnie Franklin, raising her two teenage daughters, Valerie Bertinella's Barbara and Mackenzie Phillips Julie, behind the scenes, a fascinating drama unfolded. The network executives suggested a new name for the show, believing that one day at a time sounded too much like a mantra from an addict's anonymous meeting. Despite the suggestion, the original title prevailed becoming emblematic of the show's focus on tackling real-life issues head-on. However, one of the most significant off-screen disputes revolved around top billing. Representatives for Mackenzie Phillips and Bonnie Franklin found themselves embroiled in a bitter squabble with the show's producers over who should receive top billing. The conflict highlighted the industry's ongoing debate over gender dynamics and star power in television, reflecting the larger societal changes of the 1970s. Amidst this behind-the-scenes drama, a remarkable twist of fate occurred involving two young actors, Glenn Scarpelli and Scott Colomby. The duo had filmed a TV pilot called Jump Street, which ultimately went unpicked. At the time, Scott Colomby was dating Valerie Bertinelli, who played Barbara on One Day at a Time, and also portrayed her on-screen boyfriend, Cliff Randall. During their time together, Valerie made a promise to Glenn Scarpelli, pledging to assist in his career if the opportunity ever arose. Soon thereafter, Glenn Scarpelli learned that Mackenzie Phillips was being let go from one day at a time, and Tandem Productions, along with CBS, were seeking a replacement character. Seizing the moment, Scarpelli contacted Valerie Bertinelli and asked for her help in securing an audition with the show's producers. Valerie kept her promise, and Glenn Scarpelli successfully auditioned for the role, marking a turning point in his career. He joined the cast as Alex Handris, the new addition to the Romano family, and the rest, as they say, is history. One Day at a Time not only left its mark on television history with its frank depiction of contemporary family life, but also with the intriguing off-screen narratives that unfolded during its production. From debates over the show's title to disputes over billing and the unexpected rise of Glenn Scarpelli, the series continues to be remembered for the captivating stories it told both on and off the screen. In the turbulent world of 1970s television, One Day at a Time emerged as a groundbreaking series that tackled contemporary issues with wit and warmth. However, behind the scenes, the show faced its own set of challenges, including a tumultuous period for one of its key stars, Mackenzie Phillips. In the 1979-1980 season, Mackenzie Phillips, who portrayed Julie Cooper Horvath, found herself entangled in a battle with drug addiction. As her personal struggles intensified, they inevitably spilled into the production of the show. In 1980, Phillips made the difficult decision to enter rehab a move that was reflected in the show's storyline. During her absence, the character Julie married Max Horvath and relocated to Houston. This marked a pivotal moment in the show's evolution. However, one day at a time wouldn't be the same without Philip's presence, and in the seventh season, she made a guest appearance in a two-part episode. This storyline delved into Julie and Max's marital problems, mirroring her real-life struggles. The ninth and final season of the series took an unexpected turn. Mackenzie Phillips collapsed on the set, raising concerns among the production team. 
Producer Patricia Fast Palmer, suspecting the root cause, approached Phillips and requested a urine test. In a poignant moment, Phillips declined, signaling the depth of her troubles. Subsequently, and with minimal fanfare, Phillips was quietly fired from the show, and July's character was permanently written out. This behind-the-scenes drama added a layer of complexity to One Day at a Time, a show known for its candid exploration of contemporary issues. Mackenzie Phillips' journey, both on and off-screen, is a testament to the challenges faced by those in the entertainment industry during that era. One Day at a Time remains a lasting testament to the resilience of television in the face of adversity, a theme that echoed both in front of and behind the camera during its iconic run, 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 run. Run. In the early days of the hit 1975 TV series One Day at a Time, the show underwent a significant transformation before becoming the beloved family sitcom that would capture the hearts of viewers for nearly a decade. The original pilot, titled Three to Get Ready, featured Bonnie Franklin, known as Anne Romano, in the role of a nurse. However, this version of the show had several notable differences from the series that eventually became a classic. In Three to Get Ready, there was only one daughter in the Romano family, and her name was Julie Benton. Hat Harrington continued to portray Schneider, the quirky superintendent, and Marsha Rod played Anne's best friend named Gail. This initial pilot, though featuring some of the familiar characters, failed to provide the clarity and cohesion that the show needed to succeed. Bonnie Franklin, who would later become synonymous with her role as Anne Romano, candidly described the first pilot as a mess in interviews. She remarked, there was nothing clear about it. Despite the initial setbacks, the creators and producers of the show decided to rework the concept, ultimately leading to the version of One Day at a Time that became a cultural phenomenon. The revised pilot, which introduced Valerie Bertinelli as the second daughter, Barbara Cooper, and solidified the core cast, proved to be the turning point. With the family dynamic set and a clearer direction, the show went on to address important social issues while providing heartwarming and humorous moments for its audience. One Day at a Time became a reflection of the changing times and a testament to the resilience of single mothers. The show's enduring theme song, with lyrics that encouraged viewers to take life as it comes and face challenges one day at a time, became emblematic of its spirit. The catchy tune, performed by Polly Cutter, set the tone for each episode, emphasizing the importance of living in the present and cherishing the moments life offers. One Day at a Time is remembered not only for its memorable theme song, but also for its progressive approach to storytelling and its enduring impact on television history. The show's journey from a messy pilot to a beloved series is a testament to the power of perseverance and adaptation in the world of entertainment. In the end, One Day at a Time stands as a cherished part of television history, thanks to the determination of its creators and the talented cast that brought the Romano family to life. It remains a reminder that even when life gets complicated, taking it one day at a time can lead to something truly remarkable. In 1975, the television landscape was forever changed by the arrival of One Day at a Time, a groundbreaking sitcom that deftly tackled contemporary issues with humor and heart. While the show's success is well documented, some lesser known facts about its inception and early days shed light on the serendipitous twists that led to its creation. Bonnie Franklin, the actress who would become synonymous with her role as Anne Romano, had an intriguing journey to stardom. Before she became the iconic single mother on One Day at a Time, Franklin appeared as Jean in the 1960s TV show Gidget. In a remarkable episode of Gidget, Franklin shared the screen with future Oscar winners Sally Field and Barbara Hershey, as well as the acclaimed Richard Dreyfuss. The quartet portrayed teenaged friends, foreshadowing their later Hollywood success. What's even more astonishing is that Bonnie Franklin's path to fame began on Broadway, where she earned a Tony nomination for her role in Applause. It was during her time on the Broadway stage that she caught the discerning eye of Norman Lear, the legendary television producer. Lear would go on to cast Franklin as Anne Romano, cementing her status as a television icon. However, one day at a time faced its fair share of challenges during its early days. Franklin, displeased with the show's direction, contemplated quitting after just 15 episodes. The turning point came when she was granted more creative input into the series. This decision not only saved the show but also allowed it to flourish into the classic it became. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes reveal the intricate web of circumstances 
and talent that brought one day at a time to life. It's a testament to the enduring impact of the series, which remains a touchstone for the portrayal of complex family dynamics on television. In retrospect, the show's journey from the Broadway stage to the small screen, coupled with Bonnie Franklin's perseverance and creative influence, transformed one day at a time into a beloved cultural touchstone. Touchstone. As we bid adieu to the beloved 1975 TV series, one day at a time, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of nostalgia and fond recollections. This timeless show has not only entertained us, but also provided a mirror reflecting our own journeys through life's ups and downs. In the heart of this family sitcom, we discovered characters who felt like friends and situations that mirrored our own. The laughter, the tears, and the life lessons shared across the episodes left an indelible mark on our hearts. It wasn't just a TV show, it was a glimpse into the essence of human existence. Now, dear reader, it's your turn to step into the spotlight. We invite you to take a moment to reminisce about your personal connection with One Day at a Time. Perhaps you laughed along with Schneider's antics, empathized with Anne Romano's struggles, or found solace in the resilience of the characters as they navigated life's challenges. Share your favorite memories, your most cherished moments, or the life lessons you've carried with you from the show. By opening up about your thoughts and memories, you contribute to the tapestry of experiences that make one day at a time a timeless treasure. Let's celebrate the enduring power of storytelling and the connections it fosters. Thank you for taking this journey down memory lane with us. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Keep the spirit of one day at a time alive in your heart, and may its lessons continue to inspire you as they have inspired us all. Warm regards. Regards. Regards.